All right, well, here's another player in the field. EV maker Lucid Motors is going to begin delivering its $169,000 sedan, $1,000 sedan next month. Now, shares are jumping on the news. CEO Peter Rawlinson uh, is here with us now. So, Peter, the big news also is that you're producing the car, like you're already there, like you're leapfrogging uh, a lot of these guys. Um, talk to me about the demand you're expecting and what you're noticing. Well, the cars are coming off the line right behind me, Alex. And uh, we've just surpassed 13,000 pre-orders. We had a great event here yesterday. We opened the factory doors for the world to see, for valued first customers, for influencers, journalists, analysts, and uh, a whole bunch of people, uh, including our investors. And everyone was blown away with the progress that we're making. Cars are coming off the line, and we're scheduling customer deliveries in October. Okay, uh, October, November, December. How many cars, how many customers are going to be in their cars driving around, Peter, by the end of the year? What is that number going to be? Well, we're pushing to, to as, as hard as we can to, to, to satisfy as many as we possibly can. We're going to ramp production up uh, significantly. But, you know, what really matters right now is getting the quality right, not getting rushed into just driving numbers down the line, making sure that each customer uh, receives a great quality product. And then we're on track to ramp up to 20,000 units next year mm -hmm. yep. with a target of 50,000 in 2023. Uh I think in your in your SPAC filing, Peter, I, I just want to kind of push you a little bit on this. You said 577. Is it mm -hmm. plus or minus 577? We're pushing like crazy as a management team to achieve the 577. We're, we're giving it all we have to get there. And we'll be able to give you a much clearer indication of how achievable that is when we do our first uh, uh, earnings call uh, for our third quarter, uh, which will be mid-November. The risk that the supply chain problems impact you on that? Well, uh, the, what, what has impacted us, and I've said this many times, is that uh, we've, we've been hit with the impact of COVID in our supply chain for quality of parts. And without quality parts, we simply can't build a world-class quality car. We're absolutely committed to that. So we have the aftermath of COVID to deal with for our supply chain. And it's, it's really, it's, 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 it's supply quality issues. Peter, you talked about last night, um, which sounded great. Um, you, you talked about having a dream drive event. I think that's going to take place on October the 12th. Right. What is the dream drive event? What is, what is dream drive going to be? Well, dream drive is the name for our uh, autonomous and ADAS system, uh, our advanced driver assistance system. We have uh, perhaps the most advanced system in the world today with 32 sensors integrated into the car, including uh, uh, 14 cameras, uh, short and long range uh, radar, and a, a 120 degree solid state LIDAR system. So we'll be rolling that out to the world on um, October the 12th, preceding customer deliveries. Um, in order to get to where you need to get to in terms of your targets, how many people are you going to have to hire to do that? Well, uh, I mean, we're, we're, we're approaching 3,000 people in the company now. Mm -hmm. uh, and actually, I, I always say I'd rather do more with less people. Uh, I, I always believe that it's my job to create a critical mass of intellect rather than just sheer mass of numbers. Give me less, more brilliant people to achieve that. But that said... Undeniably, we're really growing our footprint here, particularly in Arizona, bringing in jobs into the state, great high-tech manufacturing jobs. When are you going to be manufacturing in Saudi? Well, we're looking at all options for plants, both in the Middle East and certainly in, in China uh, mid-decade. So it would, be, it would be absolutely great to have plants around the world as we, we move towards becoming a global player. Uh, one more quick one, Peter. Um, in terms of capital raise, you're doing a lot. How much money are you going to have to raise to do it? And when do you do it? Right. So we raised $4.4 billion with the, with the SPAC merger, um, uh, including the pipe. Uh, we had a healthy cash balance before that. 
And that sees us through um, into a healthy position right through to the end of 2022, uh, to the end of next year. Now, clearly, that's before we bring Project Gravity into the plant here at the end of 23. So clearly, we're going to have to raise uh, some more money because this is a capital-intensive business, and we'll choose an opportune moment to do that.